The Prince, by me, Niccolo Machiavelli. Chapter 22. A Ruler's Ministers. A ruler's choice of ministers is an important matter. The quality of the ministers will reflect his good sense, or lack of it, and give people their first impression of the way the ruler's mind is working. If his ministers are capable and loyal, people will always reckon a ruler astute because he was able to recognize their ability and command their loyalty. When they are not, people will always have reason to criticize because the first mistake the ruler made was in his choice of ministers. Everyone who knew Antonio da Venafro, Pandolfo Petrucci's minister in Siena, thought Pandolfo extremely smart for having chosen him. There are actually three kinds of mind. One kind grasps things unaided. The second sees what another has grasped. The third grasps nothing and sees nothing. The first kind is extremely valuable. The second valuable. The third useless. So although Pandolfo didn't have the first kind of mind, he certainly had the second. If someone is sharp enough to recognize what's right and wrong and what another man says and does, then even if he doesn't have the creativity to make policy himself, he can still see which of his minister's policies are positive and negative, encourage the good ones, and correct the bad. The minister, meanwhile, will realize that he can't fool the ruler and so will have to behave. There is one infallible way of checking a minister's credentials. When you see the man thinking more for himself than for you, when his policies are all designed to enhance his own interests, then he'll never make a good minister, and you'll never be able to trust him. A minister running a state must never think of himself, only of the ruler, and should concentrate exclusively on the ruler's business. To make sure he does so, the ruler, for his part, must take an interest in the minister, grant him wealth and respect, oblige him and share honors and appointments with him. That way, the minister will see that he can't survive without the ruler. He'll have so many honors he won't want any more, so much wealth he won't look for more, and so many appointments that he'll guard against any change of the status quo. When rulers and their ministers arrange their relationships this way, they can trust each other. When they don't, one or the other is bound to come to a bad end. 